The Myers-Briggs Type Indicator is a self-assessment of how we perceive the world and make decisions. The test measures our preferences in four domains – sources of mental energy, processing of information, approach to decision-making, and need for structure. Each of the four categories has two sides – extroversion or introversion, sensing or intuition, thinking or feeling, and judging or perceiving. This then results in 16 possible personality types. Before we begin the test, keep three things in mind. Human traits exist on a spectrum. You could fall in the center of two extremes and get different results when repeating the test later. The MBTI looks at preferences, so people who prefer extroversion over introversion may not be extroverts, they simply like that personality type better. Don't take the results too seriously. To determine your type, ask yourself these four questions. Do you focus outwardly or inwardly? Are you rather outgoing or private? Do you speak impulsively or thoughtfully? Do you get energized being around others or do you recharge alone? Do you prefer extroversion or introversion? How do you prefer to take in information? Do you focus on how things are or imagine how things could be? Do you pay attention to concrete details or do you see the big picture? Do you prefer practical ideas or enjoy theories for their own sake? Do you favor sensing or intuition? How do you like to make decisions? Do you rely on logic or personal values? Do you prioritize fairness and justice or forgiveness and harmony? Do you enjoy finding flaws in arguments or agreeing with others? Do you like thinking or feeling? How do you prefer to live your outer life? Do you want matters settled or options open? Do you think rules need to be respected or see them as suggestions? Do you like detailed instructions or prefer improvisation? Do you like judging or perceiving? Now that you know who you are, you can take the letters representing extroversion, introversion, sensing, intuition, thinking, feeling, judging and perceiving and form your type, say ESTJ. What that means becomes clear when we look at the 16 personality types. ESTPs enjoy being around people and focus on the here and now. Their minds are quick, intelligent and outspoken. Good at reading others, they can solve complex problems. Routines bore them and they see rules as recommendations. They are often called doers. ESTJs prefer things settled and are not interested in abstract ideas. They value security and are also known as guardians. At work, they are capable of organizing, getting things done and are loyal colleagues who don't miss small important details. To keep things neat, they want everyone to follow the protocol. ESFPs are friendly, social and accepting. They love to have new experiences and meet new people. ESFPs enjoy seeing others happy and as a result are often the center of attention. Disliking analysis, they have plenty of common sense. Instead of logic, they are driven by values and hence tend to agree with people they like. They are also called performers. ESFJs are warm-hearted and cooperative. They feel a strong sense of duty, value traditions, and are loyal friends. At work, they are detailed and tend to complete tasks accurately and on time. Their empathy allows them to see what others need, which makes them good leaders. ESFJs want to be appreciated for who they are and are known as caregivers. ENFPs are known as enthusiastic idealists who see a life full of possibilities. Their minds are spontaneous, creative and are able to do almost anything that interests them, although the affirmation of their peers greatly influences their behavior. 
At work, ENFPs are fast thinkers and good at improvising, but they do get bored with details or things they don't care about. Some call them inspirers. ENFJs are warm, responsive, and able to take responsibility. They show outstanding people skills and see plenty of potential in others. This makes them good managers and inspiring leaders. Since they are concerned about how others think and feel, they are also known as givers. ENTPs are intellectually quick, creative, and good at a broad range of things. They get excited about new projects, but are so bored by routines that they rarely do the same thing the same way. Their ability to read others, think strategically, and solve complex problems makes them stimulating friends. Some call them visionaries. ENTJs tend to be confident, frank, and quick to make a decision. They value competence and have no patience for nonsense. At work, they are quick to spot poor organizational design and are able to create intelligent new solutions. They like to make long-term plans and then implement them no matter what. That's one reason some call them executives. And now, those who prefer introverts. ISTJs are calm, serious, and interested in peaceful living. Their judgment is thorough and realistic, they like to keep things organized, are hard-working, and are focused on achieving what they set out to. The fact that they are loyal, reliable, and detailed gave them the nickname Inspectors. ISTPs are reserved and relaxed until there is a problem. Then, they act quickly and usually find a good solution. Their curiosity about how things work makes them good analysts and great engineers. Their thinking is structured and logical, but not afraid to break the rules if they get in the way of them doing something extraordinary. They are known as the mechanics. ISFJs are introverts that are conscientious and kind. They often have a high degree of empathy and remember specifics about their friends. At work, they are committed to meeting their obligations and like to see everyone happy. Interested in serving others, they are called nurturers. ISFPs are serious, sensitive, and good-hearted. They are very loyal friends and committed to their personal values. Conflicts stress them out, which is why they don't like to lead or control others. Their sense of time and appreciation for beauty gave them the alias artists. INFJs are sensitive, original, and the rarest of all types. Their strong intuition means that they trust their instincts above all else. They prefer neither leading nor following, but doing what feels right. Their devotion to protecting what they value earned them the pseudonym Defenders. INFPs are reflective, loyal, and often idealistic. Their primary goal is to find out their meaning in life, to make the world a better place. At work, they like to help and are quick to spot possibilities to make things better. Interested in serving humanity, they are also called idealists. INTJs have minds that are original, independent, and analytical. At work, they think long-term, are determined, and show a high standard of competence for themselves and others. This makes them natural leaders. Their knowledge and cognitive ability gave them the alias scientists. INTPs are creative and rational and get excited about theories and ideas. Their tendency to be quiet makes them hard to read. Although when they focus on problems they find interesting, they often reveal their true character. They have natural skepticism and logical explanations for almost everything. They are called thinkers. The building blocks of the original MBTI were laid by Catherine Briggs and her daughter Isabel Briggs Myers, who based their work on Carl Jung's influential 1921 theory of psychological types. What do you think? Can we divide individuals into two, four, 
eight or 16 personality types and then infer who they are? Share your thoughts in the comments below. To do an MBTI test right now, look for the link in the description. If you found this helpful, check out our other videos and subscribe. If you want to support our work, join us on patreon.com sprouts. For more information and additional content, visit sproutschools.com.